Hi, my name is Nina Martinez. I'm the director of Manos de Fe here in Panama, Haistan. It's in the province of Chiriqui. Today we have had a very beautiful day. We've been working uh, with all the programs of Manos de Fe. Manos de Fe is a humanitarian organization. We cover educational areas, we cover sustainability and orphan prevention. But today we've been focusing in people. We've been focusing on spreading uh, uh, bags of food to the community uh, during this COVID uh, situation that the whole world is facing. Manos de Fe understood that we need to do what we were called to do, to be the hands of God in this area. This is the house of Gustavo. Gustavo was infected with the virus. He was in the hospital. At the beginning, when we knew about this case in the community, we tried to uh, make contact with him, so I contacted him by text, and I let him know that if he needed some help, because he was staying in his house. He was in quarantine in his house. So his mom, who is 60 years old, was taking care of him. So he said he couldn't take care of his family, his wife, and his kids. So we were supporting him during the crisis. He is okay now. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. ¿Cómo te sientes? Bien. La familia. Estamos bien, gracias a Dios. Tu esposa. Por ahí está. Sí. <laughs> Hola, bebé. Hey, saludo. Que no hemos podido saludarnos. <laughs> Todo bien. ¿Cómo te sientes? Bien, gracias a Dios. Sí. Empezando de nuevo. Mm -hmm. When all the lockdown happened, uh, I knew that there was a case in the area where Manos de Fe is located. I immediately knew that the stigma of being infected by the virus was stronger than the very same virus. And I said, this is not possible. We need to do something. So I started praying with them in the middle of the street because we had to respect the distance. His mother was there and she was crying. And she said, I cannot go out, I cannot go to the grocery store because they don't want to accept me. And I felt so bad, I wanted to cry, but I said, this is not the moment. It was the first time that I felt so bad that I couldn't give a hug to somebody because I knew they were needing that. I knew that that was my uh, my commitment in that moment. That God was telling me, I call you to do this. I call Manos de Fe to do this. This is what I want you to do. Be my hands here. Since he got sick, we've been visiting him and giving him uh, supplies and food and his, family, his mother, also his wife and his kids. And we also gave them a Bible. Uh, they didn't have a Bible. And one day he texts me and says, do you have a Bible for me? And I said, yes, of course. Um, I give them one of the Bibles that one of the missionaries left here in Manos de Fe. And in that moment, I felt like if, if the person that left this Bible here, here would know who has this Bible right now and how this chain of acts, little acts that people are doing every time that they come to Manos de Fe affects other people, they will feel so blessed. So I don't know who left the Bible, but I know it was because God decided that that Bible was going to be here. And I love what God is doing through Manos de Fe right now. We've been visiting many families. We have in the, in the Family Outreach Program more than 40 families, close to 50 families, uh, that we visited normally. And we supply once a month their food. And But during this uh, pandemic, we have had more than 60 families that we've been visiting. And every time we can, and every time we can partnership with somebody else, uh, we, we try to help as much as we can. So this being like a big movement, all the programs are working together in the Family Outreach Program, which is the way that Manus the Face is working, and it's the way that God is using to help the community. And God is blessing many families through this program. Hola! ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo ha estado? 
Oiga, bien, gracias a Dios. De, de, de codito. <risa> Another family that has been really affected by the pandemic is Ginelli's family. She's a little nine years old girl with uh, paralysis. And her mother, which is normally going once a month to David to receive her medication and to buy the special meal that she is drinking, couldn't go uh, during this month. And we've been doing all this uh, papers, all, getting all the medication, going to the hospital, and bringing diapers, milk, and the food that we normally uh, bring to the family. Ginelis has paralysis, cerebral uh, paralysis, yeah. So she's nine years old. Um, and she needs a special cares, very special cares and very special med med medication. So we're trying to support her with that. So Lynette has uh, two sets of twins and, and another daughter and Ginelli's. So she's a hard, very hard worker woman and we have been trying to support her. We did this, uh, we helped her building the house. Bueno, de mi parte, muy agradecida con todos porque Era un sueño tenerle un cuarto especial para mi niño y la cual es todo para mí. Eh, agradecida con ustedes pues por, el, por el, el gesto que han hecho con todos nosotros. Porque, bueno, Dios es grande y Dios sabe por qué hace las cosas. Y bueno, aquí tranquila y feliz de tener mis hijos a mi lado. Y, Y, y ver que hay siempre personas que, que en verdad se preocupan por los, por los demás que pues somos personas pues que realmente necesitamos una ayuda Ginelis is very special for us she used to live in a very tiny house and it was always very hot uh, her mother is a very hard worker woman his father her father is a man that is also working but her treatment is so expensive that they couldn't cover it all uh, so we try to support her. Uh, we partnership with the community and we got all the material to build the house. So our people that work in the farm of Manos de Fe and the Montana guys and some people in the community, all of us and, and a mission team from North Carolina, they came and we all went to the house and we rebuilt the whole house. And it was an amazing team because when they saw their new house, and the little girl were a new room with a very fresh area. And that was like a dream for that family. And for us, it's like a dream also, because when you can help somebody, when you are the answer of a prayer, it is amazing. It is really amazing. The feeling of being the answer of a prayer is something, uh, nothing compares with that. One of the biggest problems in this area is that uh, it's a community full of indigenous that come uh, from the migration of one of the areas of the Comarca. So they move to this area to work in the farms, but they are so isolated and um, their houses are made of bamboo covered with plastic in a, in a very, very bad situation. Their main need is a roof and food, and they live day by day. Sometimes they are just waiting for Manus de Fe to come with a bag of food, and they are waiting for that. Their kids going to school because we supply the uniform 
uh, we supply the uh, all the the, uh, the things that they need to go to choose uh, uniforms, uh, the backpack, everything, and they go to the school because we supply that. And it's it's really amazing that God is being supplying to Manos de Fe all the 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 funds to do this, and that is very important that people know that that. Every time they help Manos de Fe, they support Manos de Fe, we are really doing something. We can see the difference in this community since Manos de Fe is here. This, the kids can go to school, the kids are eating, the families are eating, they are receiving food. If they need something, they have my phone number, they call me when they don't have gas, when they need a medicine, when they, they have an emergency, they know that they can come to Manos de Fe. Sometimes you come here and you have somebody waiting outside on the, the gate telling you you have something for their kids. And it's something that you have to face every week in this place. And what, what would we do? Crying is not the answer. Praying is the answer. And showing them that we are here to support them. That's what Jesus told us to do. We're always going to have them between us. That's our job. We have to do it. We were called to do this, and we are going to continue doing this. This is God's vision, and God is going to support His vision. I'm 100% sure of that. I always have known that when Manas of Faith is facing something really tough, I've seen God doing something, amazing thing, and this is God's vision, and I know God supports His vision. So I want to say thank you to all the people that has been supporting Manas of Faith, and I praise God because of your lives. And I, and I, uh, I want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you. God is good, and God is using you guys, and God is using Manus Fe here. And we are a community. We are one force under one name, the name of Jesus. That is the name over all names, and we're gonna always give Him all the glory. And this is what Manus Fe is doing here, giving Jesus all the glory because we are doing this through His glory.